Hi, I'm George Cow, and I'm really excited today to be with Gary Schleifer. Gary and I go back, what, 10 years, something like About, that. Yeah. We've known each other for a long time, and uh, Gary is amazing. He, has, he founded a magazine called Choice Magazine, and it is the premier magazine for professional coaches. And Gary, show us. Yes, and that's the current issue. Play the current issue, yeah. Current issue, yeah. And so if you're a professional coach, you probably have heard of Choice Magazine, but if you haven't, you should definitely check it out. It is um, articles from uh, expert, uh, ex experts in the coaching industry to help you become a better coach. And I would say just if you are in the transformational field, if you're working to help people transform themselves to become the, the vision that they want to be, to become a better self, um, I think the magazine is is relevant. So, do of course I'll put the link. It's choice-online.com. Is that right, Gary? Correct. Yes. Yeah. Choice-online.com. I'll put it the uh, put a link, and they have a Facebook page and etc. And Gary is also himself a certified professional coach, and he does he he's he still works as a coach, which is important. If you are going to talk <laughs> about it, you got to be doing the work. And uh, Gary is certified by the uh, probably the largest certifying body of coaches in the world, which is ICF, International Coach Federation. Mm -hmm. And um, Gary lives in Toronto. And uh, <laughs> thank you, Gary, for, for joining me uh, today. And I'm, yeah. you know, I'm just here to pick your brain about, about yeah, coaching th and anything else. Yeah, thanks know. for having me. Thanks for having me. And thank you, too, for the acknowledgement that it's one thing to um, publish a magazine about it, but I actually started publishing it after I became a coach because there yeah. wasn't a magazine. So the balance between the, my entrepreneurial heart and my coaching heart said, okay, I was challenged to start a magazine and no publishing experience. Don't tell anybody. And well, I've been doing now it. Now you do. <laughs> now I do. Yeah. Over 17 years. So, and I use, a, I use a coach approach in publishing and creating and talking to people about yeah. uh, choice magazine. Totally. And uh, that's also, I think really important to highlight here is 17 years, mm -hmm. you know, and I mean, I have seen not just magazines, but many kinds of businesses come and go within a few years, yeah. but you have stuck with it. And I'm sure there have been hard times, you know, uh, it's been tough, you know, my hardest time. And I, I know a lot of your audience who are entrepreneurs, business people yes. have had partners. I am not a partner person. I've tried and failed so many times. Well, there's now, a reason why I'm a solopreneur as well. <laughs> exactly, right? Yeah. 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 So, you know, and and it, uh, because, you know, the not having a ongoing close business partner it doesn't mean you don't do partnerships. You do a lot of partnerships. Yeah. Uh, and you also have a team that work who work with you. So it, I, you are really like a bona fide solopreneur where you run a successful business, mm -hmm. um, where you do have collaborative and productive relationships with lots of people, but not necessarily legally, you know, not married. legally binding. I, to <laughs> right. to yeah. be honest, the, the whole concept that I work with now is like almost like a gentleman's handshake. I know that's a, you know, yeah. an old, old term, not PC yes. these days, but, but before I go on, I'd like to acknowledge you, George, because you, those many years ago, when we first met, you introduced me to the concept of joint venture partnerships. And I had no idea what that was. And through your learning and it well i don't even think it was a course then it was just what you did and i hadn't yeah. heard about it that represents over a third of my revenue per year now <laughs> joint venture partnerships i've got yes. it down to a system where i have a joint and you were talking about people working for me i have a an affiliate manager and uh what they do is they handle all the kind of the back end communicating with my joint venture partners yeah. getting updates getting marketing copy things like that but it's been, a, it, and we do two to three per quarter. We promote two to three people per quarter. And like I say, it's, a, it's over a third of my revenue. So I just want to say thank you because yeah. you're the one that woke me up to that, showed <laughs> me that opportunity. So, yeah. and no, I hear I'm, now that you're doing, uh, doing a course right now on joint ventures. So yes. I'm sure people yes. will learn from yeah. an experienced, wise person about all this baby <laughs> stuff. <laughs> so... Tell me about um, what you have. I mean, there's so many things you've learned as you've grown a successful business and also your own coaching business. 
Right. But what do you think is something where a lot of people, especially imagine the person who, uh, you know, has, has a skill to really offer um, the world, whether it's a coaching skill or whether it's a mentoring or healing type of skill. Mm. And they know that they can really make a difference if people knew about them. Maybe some of them are having some issues like, well, you know, making sure that their offering is well communicated. Um, others are saying, okay, I know how to communicate this, but now how do, how do I get discovered by people? Um, what, what's your advice for, for, for those, um, yeah, for those in that space? Oh, I mean, there's so many things. I mean, we talked, uh, uh when we were getting ready to have this call and, um, uh, about I'm doing a free time boot camp course. Yes. And yes. Talk so, about that. So, well, and I, I don't want to talk too much about that because it's just, that's just what I'm doing right now. You do courses, I do courses. Yes. And, yes. uh, what I've, what I, what I'm doing is just like what you're doing. You're j taking your own experience, your heartfelt wisdom. And so to those people that you're referring to, I find that one of the biggest things that helped me is to keep remembering what it is that not just what I'm good at, because I'm good at organizing and I shouldn't be organizing all the time. I'm good at teaching people how to do things, create, uh, creating and showing people how to use systems. And I think that the number one thing is probably a mindset where you need to keep reminding yourself that your core competency is a healer, for example, and you want to deliver. So what are those things that are not a core competency that you need to give away? and find somebody part-time, slowly work into it, so, so that you can spend all your time delivering your service or your product, and you have other people in the background that are doing these other things for you that are, they're basically though, they're not just anybody, they're raving fans or people that truly understand who you are, right? Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the way I've been operating. I've been operating that way, I'm working at being free of, uh, time free, location free, and financially free for over two decades. Yeah, and it I couldn't do it without a team of people, not a partner as we discussed, but a team of people that help me, and they've got my back, and they know their stuff better than I do. It's like I can hack away and spend like how many hours geeking out on a landing page, and somebody else can get it done in like you know twenty minutes and charge me way less than I my money's worth. So. There's a yeah. bunch of stuff in there, and I, I, I hope your audience can filter yeah. what I'm trying to say and see what suits them. Yeah, I love it. You know, one thing you said earlier, you said you love to organize, but you have to watch how much time you spend doing it, Yeah, I think is really interesting because I know probably a lot of people in my audience also enjoy organizing, or, or let me say this, a lot of people feel kind of some low level stress that they're not organized enough. Mm. And so they feel like, okay, therefore I'm not ready to really go because I'm not as fully organized as I want to be. Oh, here's a little secret. You never will be. <laughs> okay. okay. Yes. And it's I was like, going to say the same thing. <laughs> it's like your inbox on the day you leave this planet, there will still be emails and junk in your inbox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you, you can't, you can't clear your inbox forever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I have a goal that at least if I can keep a below 20 on any given day, I'm a happy camper. Yeah. Like, and that's <laughs> some people are like below 2000. You know? <laughs> uh, yeah. That's where a little bit of organizing wouldn't be a bad yeah, idea, right, but you right. can't stop yourself by being a perfectionist or waiting for the right time, the right place, the right moon. And I get there are some of those, like there are, there are some times when I think I should be following that, all of that stuff myself, like, you know, astrology and things like that, but I'm not in tune with that. That's not my thing, but um, no disrespect to the people that do work with that. And you got to, you got to step on the gas pedal once in a while. Okay. You can't be, I've been noticing when I'm talking to a lot of people, it's like they're playing with the gas and the brake at the same time. And it's like a little bit of gas, but then they get afraid and they slam on the brake. And I'm not saying go full tilt on the gas, but put it on cruise control and see what happens. And just take one, a friend of mine, a, a fellow I was working with last year, Ryan Eliason, he said, 
one imperfect action at a time, one imperfect step at a time. And that's what I do. I'm like, I'm launching this course full on. Uh, the promo period actually started yesterday and it's fall. It's happily falling apart, but that's a good thing because then I get to save it and fix and organize and figure out, I learn from my mistakes, right? Like, and they're not my mistakes, but if I didn't try, I'd never know if it was working or not. And sometimes you can spend all that time, like you're saying, organizing, and it's still not going to work. So kickstart it, get it going. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. Um, and yes, you don't know what you don't know <laughs> until you get going and realize, oh, you know, I thought that the system was supposed to go like this, but every situation presents something different for, for every personality, every person's cir circumstances you have to just get going and, and learn. So, so tell me, Gary, like you, you as a, as a coach yourself, um, a lot of questions to ask you, but I'll just, I'll, let me start with this <laughs> <You> one. <go. laughs> as a coach yourself, and what do you find yourself working with your clients a lot on? Like what's, what's one issue that's uh, come up for you recently with clients? You know what? A primary one that I keep getting into before the end of a conversation with the client is, and how's your personal life? Hmm. Because when you're, when I'm coaching, I'm a, I'm a business coach. So people come to me to be coached on their business and that's great because that's the marketing. I call it the marketing facade. Sorry, no disrespect, but people buy what they, what they see that applies to them. And if I sell myself as a business coach using my 30 plus years of experience in business, running multi-million dollar companies, well, creating and running them, they were mine. I, that's what they hire me for. So that's like what I call the marketing facade, the marketing stuff. But behind each one of those is a person. And I, it's, it's funny because, I mean, just the other day I was coaching a client and I hit them with something on that and they got, and he literally nicely swore at me and goes, you know, all, kind of paraphrasing, damn, I hate it when you do that to me. When I ask that particular question that gets into the side that they don't want to talk about, which is their personal life. And I'm not asking for details. I'm just saying, you know, I mean, I'm thinking of one client in particular married with a child and it's like, so how much time are you spending with your daughter? Right. And I always think of that song, uh, cat Stevens cats in the cradle, with the with the silver spoon, I think that, or yeah, one of those guys from way back in the seventies. And it's like, do you want to be on your deathbed saying, I wish I'd done more work? So that's, that's the main thing that comes up for, for me. Well, for them through me in coaching. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. It's really worth, um, and in fact, I was, I was talking with, with a, with a client today and, you know, she has a really nice lifestyle right now. Mm -hmm. And she, and I said, well, um, you know, you know, how much money do you really need to make from your business to sustain the lifestyle? And it doesn't have to be a lot, you know? No. And it's like, well, then I, I said, well, maybe you don't have to give yourself so much pressure to have to do, you know, 20 things. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the one or two things that will really, you know, sustain your business, you know, and, and allow you to fully enjoy this lifestyle that you have you know it's yeah. like right yeah. it's like you don't you don't not everybody has to do everything i do you know? right <laughs> or yeah. everything you do right yeah um, well and that's the thing when you're working with clients it's not what is what works for you works for them you know when i talk about right. being organized being organized means different things to different people being organized might be somebody who has don't get me wrong i have eleven thousand emails sorted somewhere in my system but they're not ones I have to act on. They've been replied, filtered, and they're there if I need to look them up, right? That's fine. And, but ever, everybody runs differently. My version of, of freedom is I love doing what I'm doing. I love being here with you. Um, I love connecting with people, going to conferences. I'm a, I exhibit a lot for Choice Magazine. And I just, I can't see not doing this. I'm, you know, creating this course a friend of mine, a coaching friend of mine kicked my butt and said, you need to get, and I've known her for over 15 years. She and I started our respective business coach affiliate business. She's coaching toys. It's Marcy Nelson Garrison. And then there's me with choice. And we started in the same year. So we're both now 17 years old in that business. 
And she said to me, you got to get, you got to speak your voice. You got to get, you got to let people know what you're up to. You're a systems guy. You got to share that with people. And so finally this year, I, whatever, got up on, started to work on building a course. And now I'm talking to some of you who's an expert in doing it. And, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm just honored to be interviewed. <laughs> no, I, I love interviewing you. So the other thing I want to ask you is um, Choice Magazine. So yeah. um, there's an issue. What's the, how often do, do uh, new issues come out? Choice, the magazine of professional coaching, comes out quarterly. Yes. And, um, and what, 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 what kinds of topics are, are covered? Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, we have, um, we, have uh, we cover, like we have a news section where we cover what's been going on, where people are gathering around the world as coaches. So, you know, post coaching conferences and leadership conferences and things like that. We also have uh, one of the favorite columns is coaching tools. And I've chosen to be the co-writer of that starting in the next issue. And I'll be featuring electronic gizmos that make your life easier. And that's make it, giving you some free time so you can have more me time. And Marcy does more physical things like games, cards, things that, you know, you would put into a space when you're having a, a group or you're working with a client one-on-one -on -one and, you, you know, you pull a card and describe what that image is and become something, a conversation piece when your client's stuck. And then there's coaching games and assessments and things like that. And another favorite, uh, we have a feature section. So for example, this one here is how coaching impacts all areas of life. And we have, you know, a mom coach, um, you know, just different aspects of where coaching shows up in the world, the ripple effect. Oh, and just as a historical aside, so the, that was the cover, this part here was the cover of our very first issue. And so we expanded on it and just kind of, you know, it's, just a little thing, you know, but yeah. we spend a lot of time thinking about design and that, and it comes out in print or digital, so you can have it either way. But um, it, it's really taking a look at what's up and coming in the coaching world. Um, we have columns also about what's the impact, the art of coaching, so how people are using coaching in different ways. Um, sometimes you have stuff that's really leading edge. Like we had a one about a uh, hospital coaching in healthcare uh, issue last year that was promote was supported by a friend of mine. She was one. Of, she's in that industry big time as a company that just deals not with only with healthcare coaching, which I think is kind of cool. So yeah, there's lots of great articles in there. Um, sticky situations. There's another favorite where we're presented with a problem and the a panel of experts i call them um, which is their mccs and such which it means master certified coach so bit bigger and better than me i guess and uh they espouse their wisdom on how they would handle a particular client situation and i think that those are really interesting to see how there's more than one way to coach a client and help a client mm, that's amazing yeah. yeah and uh so to, to get the magazine, people go to choice-online.com and they can yeah, see Yeah, and there's a box that says there. subscript or just do forward slash catalog and you'll get mm -hmm. all the options with the prices. Um, if you want a free issue, you just go to our homepage and get a digital issue by providing us with your name and email mm -hmm. and agreeing to uh, usual marketing. And yeah. we tell you about people like George who we're working with. Um, yeah. when we work with George and, uh, and also uh, upcoming issues mm -hmm. and just events that are going on around the world. Yeah. And that's one. I think that's one of the actually value adds of being part of the choice magazine community is that you guys are, you guys are res well resourced, well connected in, in the coaching transformational space. So yeah. you are introducing new resources to people uh, on a regular yeah. basis. And that's, that's great. Yeah. And a little uh, aside, we just uh, updated our website this year and you can now, uh, the, our content is searchable. So if you go under the issue library, you can look at, um, sorry, you can key in a word like uh, transformational. And you'll get all the articles and or issues that have an article about or mention about transformation. And then you can decide whether that's something you want. You can click on the table of contents to read what the articles are of that issue. So there's a number of changes that just make it easier if you're doing research or you just, you know, want a good read. There's Choice Magazine. Awesome. Awesome. And, um, and I've, 
want to let your audience know if they decide to do this, um, if they want, maybe they want a discount. Is that all right to mention? Uh, that would be fine. <laughs> yes, that would be great. <laughs> and so if you use the coupon code friends of choice, all run together, caps, lowercase, doesn't matter. Okay. And click apply at the checkout. It'll take $5 off your order. Cool. Great. Friends of choice. So what, yeah. A magazine subscription, it's not expensive. It's thirty nine ninety five US a year and five dollars yeah. off is, you know, yeah. for the first yeah. year. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Our little kind gift of, to you, to friends of choice like you. Nice. Yeah. And to stay on the kind of the leading edge of, of the coaching world. Yeah. I think it's a it's very good, very good deal. And I um, want to lead on to something else, George. Yeah. Oh, sorry to interrupt you, no, no, but no. I know that you're also big on content and on writing. Yes. It is so easy to write for choice and you don't have to be a coach. Oh, great. All the instructions are on the website. It's three cool. steps. No choice magazine and how the articles are presented or written and uh, what our audience expects. Number two, write the article from your heart using your head. So don't worry about the feature. We look for feature and non-feature articles. And then finally, it's the logistics. You submit it in a Word doc. I mean, it's really tough, you know? So I don't know what other publications do, but we just make it super easy. And there's about a 97.532% chance, I made that up, um, <laughs> of being published in an international magazine. And when you are published, we send you a PDF of your article and we want you to market the heck out of it. Like it's a marketing tool. And a lot of people don't realize that. And the ones that do, I love it because I see them on LinkedIn. I see the article on their Facebook page and they're mentioning me. So same thing. You can send it off to your friends and say, hey, look what George wrote. And, you know, and it just it's that organic, heartfelt way of promoting and supporting each other. This is really cool. So essentially, um, yeah, you're making it very uh, easy for people to submit articles to be like a guest guest blogger essentially right. kind of like that yeah. except it's also in, in, in a print edition it's and a it's form, a formal yeah, print. yeah and it builds credibility for the writer and it also of course spreads the word about choice so that's kind of a win-win yeah. i really like exactly. that so this is great so yeah. i hope those who are watching will consider you know if you if you love to write and yeah. uh yeah you might consider and and in terms of the um in terms of the copyright or uh, the exclusive status of that. Tell us about that, that part. Well, so, okay, you hit on two words. Uh, the, uh, one of them, first of all, is when you write for choice, we want it to be a first-run article. It comes to right. us first. okay, so, that makes so sense. Not, oh, well, you'd be surprised how many people want to take a chapter from their book and right. do uh, yeah. whatever. Yeah. No, that's not us. You can do that afterwards and okay. publish yeah. it somewhere else. Sure. And um, what we do, once you submit, we'll send you an agreement and a writer's agreement has mm -hmm. some details about how you want to be presented in the magazine and the contributor section and logistics again and we'll request a photo and the agreement is a very basic one that says you know you're giving us permission to use the article as we see fit and we're giving you permission to use the article as you see fit so it's, again yeah. it's a win-win and why that works is uh, recently well over 17 years but more so recently for some reason I've been asked by schools and course leaders if they can use an article from choice. And because we have the writer's agreement, and by the way, we won't publish unless we receive that signed agreement. Yeah. Um, we, uh, we have full autonomy to send them that article. Now, I know I don't have to, but I always go back to the writer and say, hey, so-and-so would like to use your, uh, your article in, this, in their course, is that okay? And the last person was uh, somebody who I've only met this year. And she's like, Gary, don't worry. I trust you. Go for it. Right. So, yeah, it's it's kind of sweet. It's all, I call it free marketing. And anybody that doesn't, if they're writing, if they don't think of doing that sort of thing, especially with someone like us who maintains a good level of trust and integrity. Yeah. And um, you guys have how many uh, how many readers? Oh, over 3,000 readers. Yeah. And we have over 16,000 people in our database. And we're um, also sharing the content of articles ourselves on LinkedIn using Link, right. Link Publisher. Something yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. So, and, yeah. And the cool thing about these 3,000 readers is that they are, well, many of them are coaches or leaders of some kind. And, yeah. you know, 
I would say kind of referral sources for, for other providers. So right. it's kind of a cool audience to reach. Yeah. yeah. Now we all have so many um, things going on. You know, we're speakers, we're uh, course uh, leaders, or coaches, and nobody does just one thing anymore. So yes, that whole circle <laughs> of uh, influence is, is very relevant in the, in the industry and the people that I work with. Awesome, awesome. Great, I will be sure to put the um, special link actually to, to write for choice in the notes of the video as yeah. well. Thank you. Um, anything else, Gary, you wanna share before we uh, close this interview? I, again, I want to say thank you for being you. You really set me on a pace with joint venture partnerships. That was like a blessing from heaven. And, and you were my best joint venture partner, <laughs> you know, so thank you. <laughs> it was, it was a win-win for sure. Exactly. Yeah, we did great. And, uh, and I just want to let people know that if they're interested in choice, again, it's choice-online.com. Uh, forward slash catalog use the coupon code friends of choice all run together for five dollars off and also if you're interested in my free time boot camp i'll uh george will be pro uh, providing a link i'm doing a webinar uh next week and the course starts in uh october runs for six weeks and if you want to create more free times so you can have more me time and that freedom like your client is experiencing I know it sounds a little odd to take a course about how to take free time, but it works. And I've got some, some students have taken the course that are uh, great testimonials to that. So Awesome. And it's really that. about systems, putting the systems in your business, Isn't that right? Well, it's not just that. It's about systems. It's also about mindset. Because right. yeah. it's one thing to say you want more free time, but what mm. are you going to do with it? So we have one of the week, uh, week modules is just about visualizing what it is you're going to do with your free time. And that's very powerful because if you don't have the destination in mind, you can get lost along the path. You get to a fork in the road and where do you go? Well, if you've already set the destination, it's easy. It's like a GPS, right? Oh, let me add that to my program. It's like, yeah. <laughs> it's like a GPS. Yes, for it, is. That, it is. I'm going to call that module GPS. There, there we go. go. There we go. Awesome. Cool. Wonderful. Thanks again, George. Yeah. Thanks Gary for doing the interview.